It's incredibly windy out, uh, so sorry that I'm so close to the camera and kind of up in your face right now, but I just unloaded all the lumber off the truck. I'm gonna start putting uh, the two by sixes going up this way. Uh, basically all I'm doing is I'm gonna go up about five feet. It'll be one solid wall. Um, and then from that point forward, I'll start spacing them out a little bit further just for some uh, ventilation, but it, that way it's not a solid wall. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna start with, and then we'll start wrapping around to the other parts of the stalls. So here's a look at the first board that I installed. Pretty simple, just got this two by four upright, two by eight going across. Oh, hi Remy. Uh, another two by four over there. And basically I'm gonna just go up. I changed my mind right now. I'm gonna just focus on going up probably about five feet. Um, so this will be solid all the way down and then I'll probably end up um, kind of spacing these ones out a little bit. So um, I am intending on putting a center brace right here. I know that a 12 foot span is obviously not gonna be very strong. So I am gonna put a center brace right here, but once I get them all up, then I'll dig the hole and put that brace. It'll just make it easier to line it up all perfect rather than trying to set that post uh, right now and then uh, you know getting everything perfect afterwards. So I will have a center brace, don't you worry. All right, uh, so as you can see there, this wall is pretty much finished up um, as far as it being a solid wall. Uh, the reason I did that is when it does get really windy and it's cold, like right now it's windy, blowing directly towards the barn, but it is nice and warm today. But during the winter months, obviously we wanna make sure we have good wind protection for the horses. Um, so this level, I had, a, had them completely flush to block all the wind. From here going up, 
I'm probably just going to use like one by sixes or one by eights and I'll actually have them spaced, you know, a couple inches apart just to kind of save a little bit of money with lumber. Um, and then again, because these are all two by eights, they're providing more structural, structural integrity so that if a horse were to kick against this wall, it's not going to snap. Obviously if it was a one by eight, it's just going to snap right in half. But a, a two by eight, especially once I put the center brace should be plenty strong for the horses. And then, um, during the summer months, the benefit of having these being kind of uh, apart is it'll actually provide a little bit of ventilation when, it, uh, when we do get some wind. So now we got to go get started on the other walls. Sam, if you're watching this, I'd say I'm sorry, but it was both of our husband's ideas, so I don't know.
So now that I have this wall finished, uh, what I'm gonna start doing is these crossbars here. Uh, all I'm gonna do is put a small piece of uh, two by four here, and then it'll be a two by six rail connecting these two. So it's not gonna be fully enclosed like the, the other wall, um, but it'll just prevent Phoenix from coming out. All right, um, so I got the first set of rails put up this morning. Uh, when I first got out to the ranch, I didn't realize that the memory card on the camera was full. So I got all this stuff knocked out, went back uh, to the house and then uh, downloaded everything. So I didn't film any of this part, but still got another section to do. Uh, so I'll film uh, kind of how I did that one or how I'm gonna do that one. is finished up just got to get moving on to this it's starting to kind of look like uh, a place that a horse could <laughs> live still got a little ways to go but it's looking good okay so that's gonna wrap up this video um, this wall with the gate I'm gonna have to finish up later but I just wanted to make sure I got this video out uh, and posted so uh, just stay tuned and we'll get this barn finished up and a couple other projects uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.